record something. It's all good. You can say hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you recording right now? I am recording. It's recording. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, erase that. No, it's too late. Good morning, Barty Creels. That was Stephanie. Um, some confusing things as a newbie for print scroll leech sheet and leech sheet.html. How and where is the scroll leech sheet parser defined? Leech sheet.html does not actually exist in the code base files. Let's take a look. Let's shrink this crazy caveman. All right. For print and leech sheet.html. All right. Leech sheet. So, um, leech sheet.html. This is um, generated by, this HTML is generated by scroll, right? So I can go ahead and delete this. It's not actually checked in and it's ignored by the git ignore file. So we ignore a bunch of things. We, we, need, we try not to check files and vote by scroll. Occasionally we do need to check in one of these files like a JavaScript or CSS file. And to do that, we have to use the git dash F file. But anyway, so we've got leetsheet.scroll. And the question is, for print, scroll, leet sheet, and leet sheet, how and where is the scroll leet sheet parser defined? So where is this parser defined? You know, really, this should not be in the standard library. Um, yeah. Print usage stats. Um, why is this in the standard library? I don't know. So anyway, this is where this parser is defined in the leech sheet.parsers file, which is in the parsers folder in the leech sheet.parsers. Um, how and where is the scroll leech sheet parser defined? Scroll leech sheet parser. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, this is kind of confusing. This is kind of, um, this is, this is not really general. Do we, do we show this parser in the lead sheet? So I type scroll build, um, and I go to lead sheet. Yeah, I should not, I shouldn't include this because this isn't something that should be included. It's not something other people are gonna wanna use really. Um, so, experimental, yeah, let's add an experimental tag to this, just to hide it from that. Print usage stats. Print parsers. Just make this experimental as well. Oh wait, well, we've already got, it's, it's extending from that one, so I think we don't, we shouldn't need to update them both. Print parse. Oh, uh, so tags. This is a bug. Tags don't work with inheritance yet. So we got to fix that. Um, okay. So now, great. So we don't include that in the lead sheet because we really shouldn't. I mean, it's rarely used. It's really only used on this file. So. Um, It really shouldn't be. I just stuck it in here because this was a quick and dirty thing. And um, anyway, so th this this line of scroll gets picked up by this parser. Um, Q from ID. So Q uh, we refer to the Q as the as the first word in a particle. First atom in a particle is the Q. And so we say print scroll leech sheet Q from the ID, which just means that look for the Q from ID. You see this quite a lot. This just says, you see this a lot in parsers. This just says derive the Q word from this ID. Now you could also just do this. And, and this, in fact, is all Q from ID is doing is basically setting adding a particle, a Q. That's mine. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's mine. My 
charger. Okay. Anyway, so I hope that answers the question, I think. Um, sorry, that's confusing. Right, so leadsheet.scroll exists, and that gets built into leadsheet.html. So let me just... Great. I'm going to commit that and push that. Oops. Push GitHub. All right, hope that answers this question. Cheers.